Howdy, howdy, everybody. Gomer here. Yeah, first time I've been on camera on this channel in a while. <laughs> um, I came across an ad for a site that's called MakeGirlsChaseYou.com. Oh, God. And and I watched the part of it. And, and, and of course, it's one of those clickbaity ads. It's like, hey, there's these five words that make women not want to chase you or, or what have you. You know, it's one of those pickup artist type things. And we're going to react to the video that's actually on the site. I did not click through. They do not have any of my ad revenue. Um, I initially thought it was just a broken site, but I turns to realize, yeah, um, I was putting the URL in wrong <laughs> because I am a doof like that. Um, and yeah, if you notice the camera is like cropped, it's like, it's obviously cropped. I, at least I think it's obvious. It's obvious to me because if you look at the stuff in the background there, it's like, yeah, office is a little bit of a mess. So I crop out as much as I can. Plus my hair is shit, hence hat. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so let's pop over to the site. Seven scientific secrets that make girls chase you. Oh boy. Oh, there, there's a JoJo reference in there somewhere. Hopeless nerd discovers innocent words that make her think about you non-stop. Um, that depends on the woman, and that depends on... You know, there, there's a lot of varieties there. But even then, you know, my girlfriend doesn't think about me non-stop, and vice versa, because we're humans, we have our own needs and wants, and while I can't speak for her, I think about her constantly, but not all the time. You know, there are other needs that I do have, and there are other people that I'm also interested in, platonically and otherwise. Same with her. So, you know, that's the joy of being in an open, non-monogamous relationship. <laughs> or it doesn't even have to be monogamy. It's just, yeah, whatever. And yeah, y'all get to see what I was looking at when I came across this video. The YouTube video in question was not the one that's currently in the thing. The, the ad for this was, interestingly enough, on a Jimmy Snow video, which... I don't think he would be into this. I just, based on what I've seen of him in the videos and on the social medias, I don't think this would be for him. Um, so that's some misaimed advertising right there. Um, you know, just like putting, like, the video I'm watching, the video I have actually have up um, is, an, is a uh, Telltale Atheist uh, uh, video where he's talking about the Electoral College, and he is anti-Trump. But the ad is a pro-Trump. I know some people say, oh, just get an ad locker. No, I want these people to be able to make money. Because uh, <laughs> I can't throw money at everybody as much as I'd like to. Um, so we're going to we're gonna start this for reference sake. Oh, excuse me. For reference sake, the video itself is going to be over here. So if my audio quality goes a little shit like this or what have you, I don't know how well it's going to sound until post. But if it goes like that, that's why. I really should set it up over here. But, you know, I'm limited in my space at the moment. So <laughs> I have to make do with what I've got. Oh, oh, and what's your worst frustration? Uh, women never notice me. Girls show interest, then ghost me. Getting told, let's just be friends. I never know what to say. All or several of the above. Um, let's see. Women never notice me. Maybe you don't stand out. That's, that's just the thing. Girls show interest, then ghost me. Maybe maybe they're just not interested, dude. You know, just be friends. Maybe maybe that's all they want. Maybe they just want friendship. I never know what to say. That's a problem everybody has. Trust me. I, I you know, I don't think these guys are going to help you with that. But that is a problem everybody has from one time or another. Like, there are there are women who I'm pretty sure. I try, I, I'm pretty sure I've made it obvious I've got a thing for them. But I've not told them outright. Uh, just w for one reason or another. Um, but then again, there's also the ash other part of my brain that's like, wait, they probably realize I have a thing for them and they're still this way with me. Okay, then. <laughs> so, yeah. Point is, humans are complicated. Let's see this video. Oh, boy. This is, this is going to be a thing because... Yeah, this is this is going to be one of those pickup artist things that's going to piss everybody off. And I look forward to it. Okay. Fuck? Fuck? Well. Uh-huh. Really? 
Really? Okay, okay, bullshit. I am pretty sure that, 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 wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about this. Let's see, three times likely to start hitting on you out of nowhere, get her to instantly find you attractive, but not the word fuck. Granted, the word fuck is very versatile and not necessarily signs of panty dropping, but, um, uh, I'm willing to bet that this right here, I, I, bear in mind, this is all just fresh reaction here. I'm willing to bet this video is about friend zoning a woman. It doesn't say how long it is. It does not say how long it is. This, we, don't, we do not know at this point how long this video is. So I'm willing to bet this is a video that wants, that, that, that's trying to sell guys a book on friend zoning women. You know, never, you know, the concept of the friend zone being bullshit as it is. Let's, we'll keep that aside for the time being. Um, but this is probably what it's going for. Just mark my words. Watch. Right. <laughs> what is that innocent F word? Um... F word. Uh huh. They do it to me all the time. Okay, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Uh huh. It's friend zoning. Just watch. Just watch. It's friend zoning. Mm hmm. Okay, see, the, the, the thing is, with the whole never get back to you to find out what you've been doing wrong. Admittedly, I, I will admit, I like to know, but I also know I am not uh, entitled to it. Some things you got to figure out for yourself, you know? So while th and, and there have been friends and, and, and potential partners and all of that that have pretty much ghosted me or outright blocked me on social media for one reason or another, I don't know those reasons. I would like to know, but I'm not... I, I don't feel so entitled to be like to go up to like mutuals that we've had and be like, hey, why did this person block me? Or hey, why is this happening? That, that's, you know, it doesn't matter. I can probably guess if I actually take a look and, and figure out things that were going on at the time I discovered this blocking or this ghosting and maybe figure it out from there. But it's not the same as this person saying, hey, I did this because you were like this and this was not, this was not vibing with me. You know? Again, I'm not entitled to that. But taking the context, I could probably figure out where and what and why. And men and... Yeah, yeah, women too. But they probably have better practice at this than men do. Stereotypically speaking, I could be wrong. Um, but for the purposes of this video, we'll talk about the men. Men can, men can benefit from doing things like this, from self-reflection, self-inflection, you know, thinking on what you've done. Not, not obsessing as in like, oh, the bitch, she did this. No, no. Think about, okay, why? Why did she do it? Why? Why? Well, take a moment, grab a tissue, blow your nose, and think about what you were doing around that time. And, and, and be honest with yourself. Don't just say, oh, I was just doing this. No, 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 no. Be honest. Be completely honest with yourself. And if you think about your actions, you're like, oh my God, I was a shithead. Then maybe don't do those actions in the future. Will that person ever come back into your life? Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. Who knows? You could have pushed them to the point to where it's irreparable. But you know now what you didn't know then and you could push on into the future as clumsy as i'm saying this i'm hoping it makes a little bit of sense um you know and then they're just right here maybe you've tried asking women more questions and taking the lead i mean people do that oh god uh-huh You know, the, the, the whole thing about having these high expectations about things, I do have a story for this, because uh, my high school 
senior prom, uh, I took a girl I was into. She wasn't quite into me in the same way, but she also wanted to go to prom, so you know, we agreed and everything. And I had the expectation, which, looking back on it, yeah, I should not have had the expectations I did, and I got hurt badly for it. And 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 on her side, we she and I had to talk about this years later, and you know she felt bad for what how things went down that night, but um, but you know it's like we both acknowledged that yeah I had unrealistic expectations, but also she used me to get into prom <laughs> basically because she was I think like a sophomore at the time. I was a senior, so, you know, which, you know, I think, I think if we had better communication at the time, things may not have turned out as bad. Um, but, um, but still the idea, the, the idea I want to get to on this one is, is my own side. And that is the unrealistic expectation for how this friend of mine and I, you know, where we were at, at that particular point, we weren't dating. She didn't have any romantic or even sexual interest in me. You know, we just wanted to go and do the thing, you know, and I think if we had had an actual honest discussion and I had actually listened and abided by it, then things would have been a lot better for the both of us, probably. You know, just probably. Who knows? Maybe things would have been a little bit different. Uh, maybe I would have been hurt in a different way. Maybe she would have been hurt. Maybe both of us would have been hurt. Or maybe we both would have realized, oh, yeah, this, this is a thing that we do. We're in a hotel. Giggity, giggity. Um, which, trust me, that has not happened between me and this friend. I doubt it will, but eh, if it does, prove me wrong, prove me wrong. <laughs> I'm not worried about it one way or the other. Um, but it's like, you know, things happen. And, and it's going to be a constant theme in this video. It's like, sometimes you start a thing with somebody and it just peters out. You know, it's just the interest, lose, you lose interest on one side or the other. You shouldn't necessarily force it. I mean, you could try. You could try the metaphorical, uh, you know, the clear that thing there. If you really, really, if you're really that invested, but you know, but you know, don't be a dick about it. Don't, don't, don't sit there and you know, don't force the issue. I guess is what I'm saying. Um, and there's a balance between you know an actual hey, I, I want to give us a shot in some s s way, shape, or form. I can speak. I swear. But, you know, there's also, there's that, and then overdoing it. And sometimes finding that line is hard. Um, you know, you just pick yourself up and you try again. Lick your wounds. Do what you need to do. Play your games or, or, or smoke your pot or whatever. Uh, don't do anything too destructive. <laughs> and don't listen to assholes like the guy that we're listening to in this video. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, yeah. Dating apps every two th what really? I mean, I'm sorry. I've I, I've downloaded Tinder. I've made a you know a friend from Tinder. Um, <laughs> uh, you know she's good people. You know we 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 went out once. You know we had some pizza, went to a park, and we realized yeah it's fine. Um, you know I was probably a little bit more awkward than she was. Um, but that's me. Um, but you know I. And I deleted it because I was on the road a lot. I'm not going to find somebody on Tinder who's be like, yeah, come to the outskirts of your major metropolitan area to this truck stop. Most women won't do that. Some will. I'm dating one. But not a lot of them will, I'm sure. Because they got lives. They got work. They've got piss poor money because the economy shit. You know. It's like, whatever. You know. So, but, but like, Deleting and reloading the same app? You've got issues, man. You really do. Uh, eating dinner alone more often than you'd like? Hey. You know, sometimes... As much as I like taking people out to dinner, I like taking Becky out. I like taking other people out to dinner. That doesn't mean that... That, that, that I always like eating with people. I like eating with people that I enjoy being around. So, of course, I'll eat out with a girlfriend, with a group of friends, or whatever... But a lot of times when I go out, I just, just like the vibe on my own. If I meet up with somebody, then fine. So, you know, at least I'm at that point now. There was a point where I would eat out alone and I would feel, you know, be wallowing in self-pity because nobody would go out with me. But, you know, that was then. This is now. 
I've grown and I've learned. It's and it's rough. It's a rough road to do that, but you know, you gotta. Wow. Wow. So based on this, he is he is expecting you know the the the, the guy he the audience he is going for here. They are expecting women to turn their heads and look at him like, oh, wow, I want to hop on his rod. Oh, my God. Ugh, no, no, not even the most beautiful woman in the world turns every head. OK, so not not the most beautiful woman, not the most beautiful man or non-binary or whoever. Not everybody is going to turn every head. And if they do turn more heads, it's not always in a positive way. Trust me, it is not. But some people, you know, I guess I guess the audience this guy is going for is this, the, the entitled, Hey, I am a man. She is a woman. She must want to fuck me. No. No, dude, you're not entitled to sex. It's enjoyable. It's fun. And if you, you know, and, and, of, and of course, if you're ace, then, you know, you could probably take it or leave it because... You know, for those who don't already know, asexuals don't experience sexual attraction. Doesn't mean they can't have sex, but you know, they don't they don't look at somebody and be like, oh yeah. You know, they don't have that. You know? So, yeah. What if you're a romantic? One specific reason. Only one. Only one reason. <laughs> No, it's, it's it's only one reason. It can't be a multitude of reasons. It can't be several reasons. Maybe your dating pool is shallow. Maybe you're in a small town. Everybody already knows who you are and have blacklisted you for give or take, you know, for lack of a better term. Or maybe your chosen partner or partners live out of town and, well, they don't want to do a long distance thing. And, you know, hey, that's that's your bag of tea. That's fine. Bag of tea. You know, whatever. You know, there, there, there are plenty of reasons, and they're not all mutually exclusive either. Like, for me, dating somebody around here, I don't know too much about, you know, the dating pool around here, maybe not so much for me. But dating pools in other areas? Sure. I mean, yeah. again, my girlfriend, we're long distance. But we are, you know, again, as I stated earlier, just for clarification's sake, we're not monogamous. So we're allowed to date other people if we want to. Date, have sex, what have you. Um, so we can have a look at our local dating pools. And maybe it's because these are the cities that we've grown up in and lived in the longest that we know the dating pools where we are more. You know, around here, I have very little faith that most of the women around here that I would want to, you know, like actively want to, probably don't want the same. And that's okay. Because this is a big-ass world and we have the internet. <laughs> Uh, but that's not the only reason. I mean, I mean, it's like maybe they're not interested because they don't like the way I look or the way I dress or my politics, you know, or it's a combination of things. There's the point is there's more than one reason. There's not one specific reason. There's a bunch of reasons, but not all mutually exclusive. They just don't. On the sad way of dating and oh no, I, I'm, I'm still calling it. I'm still calling it. They're calling. They're going to try and teach you to friend zone women. Willing to bet. This is this is this is this is this is the thing. And if you're somebody who's already seen this and can already say so in the comments, don't, don't spoil it for everybody else. Do not spoil it, please. <laughs> Notice how the word and how the phrase and friend zoned was on the screen, but he didn't say it. He didn't say it, ladies and gentlemen, and others. Uh, just 
uh, I'll experience what it feels like when girls chase you for a change. You know, I've had girls chase me, literally. <laughs> it's not all as cracked up to be because I don't know about you, but when a group of girls literally start chasing you down the sidewalk, it's not, it's not sexually appealing. You know, I don't care how good they look because odds are some of them going to get a little too rowdy and you're going to get, you're going to get pounded into the pavement and not in a good way. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know why you want to get chased. I, I know what he means, but I'm being a smart ass. A hundred thousand men around the world. And, oh, wait, maybe that's the real secret. Maybe we all have to become Amazon bestsellers. That's all we have to do. That's all we have to do. Write a book, get a bunch of people to buy it on Amazon. There you go. You know, by that logic, Chuck Tingle must be drowning in pussy. Or dick. Or both. I don't know. I don't know his preferences. Um, you know, I, I say preferences, but you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, now he says it. Right. Right. And I'm willing to bet those have to do with drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not, but it may as well be. Right. Next 10 minutes! Wow! The bachelor effect. Wow! Right. I have to be up front. Mm -hmm. Right. Wow. Wow. So it's not about being a good listener. It's not about being, you know, a basic decent human being and being a good listener to somebody you are attracted to and you want to get in bed with. Sure. But there's more to it than sex. Like, seriously. I mean, my girlfriend and I, we're together. We listen to each other. And boy, oh boy, is the sex great. There's a friend of mine who lives out in Maryland. You know, we listen to each other. We're not dating, but, you know, we're not dating. We're not fully sexual. Like, she has sent, you know, she has sent nudes to me. And some I admittedly have paid for, some I haven't. And, you know, we have a really good, we have a really good friendship going on. And there's yet another one who, while we're not necessarily sexual, she has sent me at least one risque photo. So, and it's just me being me and being upfront. At least for the most part, or at the very least, being obvious about certain aspects of myself to where they realize, okay, this is a thing that can, this is a thing he likes, this is a thing he wants, and I want to provide this for him. And in my case, vice versa as well. So, you know, it's about being honest and communication. And he's talking the, this a uh, 10 minute thing. Oh my fucking God. And, and there's no, there, there is no uh, bar at the bottom where I could just scrub along. So, what the fuck? You know, and... Uh, there's going to be a lot of this going on. Just fair warning. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, and here's the thing. Say make eye contact and say hi. Yeah, that doesn't work in every situation because not every situation calls for it. If a woman is on a bus and she has earbuds in or what have you, she don't want to talk to nobody. You know, that's it. You know, she's waiting for the bus to say, "Hey, this is your stop," and she gets off. 
the bus, not not anywhere else. You know, that's it. If you're walking down the street, I'm pretty sure most women, if you try and say hello, it's just going to be a quick hello back and move on. At least if you live in small towns, in large cities, maybe not so much. Because they've got places to go, things to do, people to see, you know? They don't have time to waste on some dude who is like, oh, she looks good. I wonder what she looks like naked. No! No, we all have shit to do. Women aren't out there just wondering when a man is going to try and pin them against the wall and ravage them. It's going to be a horny video. <laughs> if it isn't already. <laughs> uh, but it's like, yeah, there are set places for it. Now, if you're talking in a bar or whatever, okay, fine, whatever. Maybe she's just... Maybe she's looked at you like, yeah, whatever, you know. And if you don't stand out, you don't stand out. You can make ways to stand out one way or another without being a colossal dick. But, you know, hey. Okay. The what? Okay, going in order. The, the one who wants to leave. That may be true, but that also could just be your insecurities playing with you, my man. That that literally all it all it is. Is there are times, even even with even with my girlfriend and the other two women I've mentioned so far in this video, I've I've felt had those feelings at some time. You know, not very often, and and it would immediately be proven wrong. <laughs> but you know, things happen. You know, it's it's just one of those things, and it's your insecurities that are playing on you on you there. That's literally all it is. But in terms of what was it the 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 second one is like only see you as a friend. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Like I said, the the girl I know in Maryland, we're friends. We do, and sometimes being friends with certain women, you can still get some sexy stuff in. You don't have to be in a relationship. To have the sexy times or even have any kind of sexual fun you know is if she's interested in doing sexy things with you relationship ain't gonna matter okay in terms of like between you and her now if she's trying to jump your bones and you're in a monogamous relationship you should shut that shit down that's all that's you know that's just a thing there but you know monogamy aside you know whatever you know, you don't need to be married or be in a relationship to have the sexy times. You just don't. Um, and the one who, the one he called bitchy, like, yeah, maybe she was just having a bad day and you were the straw that broke the camel's back. Or maybe you came on to her in the wrong way and thus she is now pissed at you because you did the thing wrong. You know, so it it's a 50-50 chance of it being you or it not being you. So, you know, maybe she had a string of guys who tried to pinch her ass and tried to harass her, and you're just coming up friendly, say hello, and she just snarls at you. Not your fault. She just had it with men at that point. I don't blame her. Uh, let's move on. See? Uh, that's another misconception. Because it's it's not the fact that the dude is a jerk, all right. And sometimes a lot of guys they'll they'll put on this show of confidence or whatever, and we 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 other guys may think he's a jerk because of this and that or the other because we assume things. And sometimes we're right, sometimes we're wrong. And I've been on both ends. I've been accused of the other. <laughs> You know, and I've been the jerk. I've been the not jerk. I've been on the. I've been thinking, oh, that dude's an asshole. And then other people are like, man, what a dick to me. So you know, it just all depends. It's human. It, it's humans. Humans are complicated, which is something that uh, my one of my friends has said many times over the years. And you don't always see the full picture when you see a guy talking to a woman. Or to another guy, or any other situation you might think up. So while he may come across as a jerk, maybe he's telling her a joke. Maybe he, maybe she, maybe she likes it. Maybe she doesn't. Who knows? Maybe he's trying, and she's just like, ah, just to get him off her ass. Could be, but you know. So no, just stay true to yourself, and you'll, and if. And if the person you want to bang doesn't want to bang you back, you know, 
yeah, it stings a little bit, but you'll get over it. It's not life ending. Really? Really? You were raised to respect women, and yet here we are. You've made, you've made this video and this site and presumably this book on what I, am, what I am saying, you know, what I'm calling right now is how to friend zone women. Again, I haven't watched the entire thing yet. I'm pretty sure this is where it's going because, dude, I, and, and this, is, this is definitely armchair psychology here, and I don't recommend it. But I'm going to do it anyway for the purposes of this video. Because I'm going to make an educated guess that this guy was so-called friend zoned way too often as he was get as as he was coming up and as he was going through his adult life, and then all of a sudden something clicked, and he you know uh, he, he 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 got a guy who could give him roofies. I don't know, but but the point is, you know, he's doing this. He's putting this out there as a way for guys to get into bed with women. And I'm willing to bet it is a lot more disrespectful than he is coming across. Just because that's how a lot of pickup artists work, if not all of them. You know, you nag the women, you 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 play hard to get, you do you do all these bullshit things to try and get a woman interested in you. When the majority of them look at that and they'll be like, dude, no, just stop. It's 2020. This ain't gonna work. This isn't some 1980s John Hughes film. It's not going to work. I don't even know if they worked on those films. I could be getting my directors wrong. I don't know. I don't care. Uh, well, I care, but not enough to really fact check it at the moment. Hmm. Wow. Oh dear. So dude's lonely. And and you know, how much did he work on himself before he met Paige? This I want to know. Because it sounds to me like he didn't do much work and Paige here had to do a lot of the emotional lifting. I'm willing to bet. Now, that's not to say that in a relationship one person or the other has to do all the emotional lifting. It's a team effort. So you, you, you've got, you know, you've got your own, you've got each other as your support systems, basically, in, in a good relationship. That being said, you know, my girlfriend doesn't do all of my emotional lifting and I don't do all of hers. We help each other with our emotional baggages, but we don't necessarily carry each other's on our own. Or at least we try not to. <laughs> um, so that's... That's the big thing. It's like, yeah, we'll, 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 you know, we'll talk about our days and everything and some stuff that's weighing down on us. But, you know, at the end of the day, we realize we have to carry at least some of our own shit, you know, at least on the individual level. But I'm willing to bet he didn't do this with Paige. You know, he put all the burden on her and, you know, whatever. I, I could be talking out of my ass by this point. I just know it's going to be a while before I get to know, oh, what is it? Did she now? That just means she likes you, dude. That means you're worth the effort, dude. I mean, it, it's... It's probably... And there it is! I honestly thought she was different. Oh, God. I know I can probably call it... You know, he's gonna say something like... You know, to the effect of... She strung him along and broke his heart... Because she thought he was... She thought he was actually somebody she could trust. But in reality, all he wanted was to get in her pants. I'm willing to bet. I'm willing to bet. Or at the very least, 
was not paying attention to the signs she was throwing out. And thus, you know, he got his heart broken. Again, the prom thing. I wasn't paying attention to things. And while there is fault on both sides, you know, I was the one who got hurt. And I would say a majority of it was because I was not paying attention and I felt entitled to things I was not entitled to. That's probably the case with this guy. Well, in a bet. Uh huh. Mm hmm. See? Told you. Well, what were you saying? Uh huh. Oh, really? Oh, you mean she found somebody else that she vibed with better than you? What I would like to know, what he conveniently leaves out is the kind of messages he's sending to her, especially at the end. What was he saying to her at the end? That's what I would like to know, because he could have been saying things that just turned her off and be like, she'd be like, no, dude, no, 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 no. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go check. I'm going to go hang with this guy. This guy seems fine. And who knows, maybe that was an old picture and maybe he was overreacting. Maybe there were a bunch of other reasons why she couldn't do it, you know. And maybe she did just hook up with some other guy. I was like, yeah, you know, whatever. Now, I know somebody's going to be like, well, shouldn't she have told him? Yeah, she should. But, you know, she doesn't have to. It's a courtesy and a courtesy doesn't isn't required all the time. You know, you don't have to. Hit <laughs> hard. Oh god. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. <clears throat> How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. Okay, we're done. <laughs> well maybe it's your maybe it's because of your BO, dude. Oh really? Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm sorry. I'm just uh, my my smart ass brain is just like your balls. You probably left him. You probably left them in Baltimore or something. I don't know. I don't know where this guy's been. Just wow. And the thing is, I I you know as I was coming up through my twenties, I had I had similar thoughts. Like where were my balls? When I, you know, I, I, when I used to work at uh, Walt Disney World, their college program in 2003, and I, I banged three women while I was there. So, you know, and, and I did something right, obviously. Um, you know, for good or for ill in the long run, I did something right. And sometimes it just, it just clicks. Sometimes you just have to be the confident and say, hey, you know, you say hello, offer to do a thing, and if she's, and if she accepts, okay, fine. If she doesn't, that's cool too. Doesn't matter. It really doesn't. So, you know, and, you know, you know, and, and as you get older, you think, yeah, that's probably not the most optimal way, especially since not everybody lives in, in a basically gated community <laughs> and work at the same place. You know, it just doesn't help. It just doesn't help. But, you know, just goddamn people, 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 people. Now, see, this here, credit where it's due, is is a good is a good come around. Credit where it's due, because you can choose to be either bitter or you can grow and be better. That that is an obviously good thing to have, a good thing to do even, not just have. It's a good thought to have, a good thing to do is what I'm getting at. So, all right, let's keep going. Ah, you use Netflix, ha <laughs> this... Oh no. He's an MRA, isn't he? Uh-huh. 
Oh no. Oh no. No more Mr. Nice Guy and what was it? The Zone? I think it was. Um Yeah, I have a feeling those are those are some uh, pickup artist books right there. I'm willing to bet. Uh again, as I'm making this live, I really do not feel like looking those up, but I'm pretty sure I'm correct. Wow. Five love languages. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Magically manifest a girl into my life. Yeah, you know, I thought the same thing when I was in high school. Maybe late middle school. When I didn't know any better. Yeah. And you're, you're, you're in what? Uh, presumably this guy is in his 30s doing this? No. That doesn't work that way. Well, of course not. Oh, no. Wait, wait, what? Or that happened. What? Uh -huh. Wow. What? She was drunk. Okay, at least she didn't take it seriously. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? Yeah. Uh, here's the thing you're basically at the equivalent of a frat party. And everybody's getting drunk and doing the thing. They probably were like, oh, "I've never done it." Is is your is your thing getting girls drunk and or friend zoning them? Because if that's the thing, then I think there are a lot of people that are a going to have issues with it, and b could tell you this is something that's been going on since the invention of alcohol. Just a guess. Mm hmm. They were drunk. You were drunk. In the match, it, everybody was drunk. I'm willing to bet. And because you were drunk, you probably, it, it, it's, okay. So I'm willing to bet the thing is, it's either confidence, which I could have told you that at the beginning of the video, or playing it off, like, you know, play the friend zone card, which that, again, that's a whole nother thing in and of itself that doesn't really exist as, it, as we think it does. Uh, but again, a whole different topic. Or it's just, you know, everybody was drunk. I'm willing to bet. It's probably it. Not that it makes it any bad. Not that it makes it worse. Just, you know, if you look for a reason, that's probably it. It doesn't make it any less magical. It doesn't make it any less fun. But you're just probably drunk. And that's fine. I mean, hell, I met my girlfriend while I was drunk. <laughs> We've been together for almost seven years. So, yeah. It, it's, 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 the alcohol is not inherently the bad thing. It's just, you're, Building it up a lot more than you need to, my man. While well, half drunk. Alcohol. Wow. Oh, God, don't get me started on the alpha thing.
Wait. Oh no. You wait. Oh. So you want women to think that you're unavailable. You want women to think that 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 you're unattainable because you think in in your brain that because of this one situation that all women just want what they cannot have just uh, oh It's one, two, three, four, five. Here's here's the secret to the 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 want what they can't have. That doesn't apply just to women. Trust me, it uh, it applies to men, as has been obviously stated throughout this video. Um, you know, dude wants women he can never have, and women want men they can never have, and, and every other variation thereof. So, it happens. Oh well. <laughs> He's got neuroscience. And there it is. Jealousy. Jealousy. Really? Really? I don't know about that. Like, I, I, I have to see the actual study. Where's show your work, buddy? Like, you're, you're, you're quoting this dude, but I, I would like to see at least some sort of like link, like, like you know, you put, put, put the thing up in the video in your video here. Like, like, yeah, proven, powerful aphrodisiac proven to elevate female sex hormones. Show your work. Where is the study? Right. I'm willing to bet that that is not the case. Because I'm willing to bet that this is all based in monogamy, which in the grand scheme of things is not as old as you think it is. And at least I'm willing to bet it's not as old as you think you think it is. But um, see, here's the thing. I've, I've mentioned before, and I'm going to mention it again. It's wow, it's a long video. That my girlfriend and I are non monogamous. We don't have like the major jealousy issues that we have when we're talking about other people. Um, you know, because I have outright told her. In fact, sometime later this week, I'm supposed to meet up with a friend of mine and we're supposed to get the, get the thing on. All right. Because it's something she's promised we could do for a while, but. You know, she's just been out of commission. And my girlfriend knows this. You know what she told me? Use protection. Literally all she told me. <laughs> Use protection, have fun, you know? <laughs> and that's fine, you know? And guess what? I'm willing to bet even before and after I do the deed with this other friend of mine, my girlfriend and I, we're still going to have sex. We're still going to have the same caliber of sex as much as you can when you're long distant and it's all going to be fine you know the uh, the other two women that i've talked about that 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 have done things with to some degree my girlfriend knows about them in fact she's mutually following one of them on twitter and i say was cuz one of them got banned but that's has nothing to do with this the point is the communication is there my girlfriend knows about all of them. She knows some of them personally. And the ones she doesn't know personally, she knows well enough just by word of mouth or just what I tell her. And she trusts me enough to not fuck her over. So, you know, there's a lot of things there. So if there is a lot of jealousy going on, let, let's, let's, let's give this, let's, let's be generous and, and give this to them. The, the whole 90-something percent of jealous women are jealous or whatever, you know, have this jealousy factor about them. Um, yeah, that means 90% of women 
have been indoctrinated into believing monogamy is the best way to go and that it should be only one person per relationship. Um, and, and in this case, we use man and woman, but it, it can apply to other configurations as well. So, yeah. Uh, it's not biological instinct. It's programmed social monogamy. It's basically the, the thing there. Yes, it is. Right. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> right. Oh no, what what a revelation. Women love sex as much as men do. Oh my, the revelation. I never knew this before. Oh my god. We all knew this already. Really? 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 So, so in order to avoid sleeping with the wrong man, they go after other women's men. How is that better? Just what? You you're making women sound like they're they're just they're just like like, like moths to a flame. Like no, it doesn't work that way. Not not in the not in the broad sense. Not, not in that sense. It, do, it does not work that way. You know, if other women are chasing a guy, it's because they all drop their panties for the dude. It's pretty much simple as that. And I, and I use that in a figurative sense. But it's just, maybe they're all attracted to the same dude. That happens sometimes. You know? It's just like a bunch of men can be attracted to one woman. A bunch of women can be attracted to one man. Regardless of their marital status or, or their relationship. It happens. You know? Oh, really? Um, let's see. Oh, oh, some of these, some of these serial killers I'm thinking of. What well, wasn't it? Wasn't it like, or serial killers, cult leaders, what have you? I'm thinking like, uh, let let's let's see. Um, uh, um, Ted Bundy, or fucking Jeffrey Dahmer, or goddamn Charlie Manson. You know, I'm I'm pretty sure that there were women who were like, ooh, I like him. I mean, hell, there there were people who were glamorizing Jeffrey Dahmer to the point to where a dude had to make comic books saying, no, don't glamorize the motherfucker. Interestingly enough, he was the one that got in trouble for glamorizing it when he was trying to say, no, this is how the dude actually was. You're glamorizing and over-sexualizing him. Stop it. So, yeah. Look up Hart Fisher sometime and you'll see what I mean. So, so you're saying women are lazy. Is that it? That women don't have any control over who they like, who they don't like. And yeah, there's a bunch of guys and a bunch of women in the same room. Some of the likes are going to overlap. That's just how it is. Like, whatever. And women are not... Th they're, they're not as... Yeah, women and men like sex about the same on the average. But here's the thing. They're not as lazy about who to choose as a mate. They're not like, oh, she likes him. I guess I like him too. No. No. Men don't do that. At least I don't think we do. Okay, I don't. I'm the only frame of reference I'm using here. But, you know. And some of the guys that I hang out with on, on the Discord. We like some of the same women. Okay. That's fine. You know. It's just... It's not mate choice copying or whatever bullshit they're pulling out. It's just some people having similar tastes. That's all there is to it. And, you know, women are not... They're, they're, they're not so simple-minded as this guy is trying to make it seem. They're not. It's, it's just They're just not. You know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I think I'll bring up the Bachelor. Natural female desire for competition and jealousy. Right. Um, somehow I don't think so. <laughs> I, I don't know why The Bachelor is so successful. Maybe it's because it's cheesy love story. Maybe it's because it's like a really reality so show soap opera. Maybe that's it. You know? Because it's it's not as a re as much of a reality show. I mean, by the time we see it, everything has already been put out there. Everything has already, most likely, already been taped out. I don't know how the production time works for The Bachelor. I really don't. But, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure it doesn't work that way. It's not the way this guy is thinking. And by the way, you're putting all this on women and forgetting that men can and likely do have some of these same traits. Competition and jealousy? Hi, sports would like to have a word with you. <laughs> Jealousy? Um, yeah. Go to r slash creepy PMs on Reddit and you could see some of the, some of this whole like jealousy thing going on too. Mm. That may be the wrong subreddit, but that's definitely one where you see guys that would probably subscribe to this shit right here. Is it just women? Really? Mm-hmm. Oh God, I'm just I'm just imagining this guy taking notes. Okay, she's got a C cup. She's got an ass that doesn't quit. That kind of thing. Yeah, taking notes. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's screen capping it and masturbating it to it later. That's not fair, but I don't care. <laughs> this guy's not going to be completely fair, neither am I. Mm hmm. Because it was scripted. It's all scripted, you asshole. You're not supposed to take it seriously. It's like. It's like Greece. You're not supposed to take it seriously. Uh-huh. Wow. So, so wait, what I'm gathering, you know, still gathering here, is he want, he, he's using the idea that he may already be taken, or close to being taken, in, in, in a monogamous relationship, to get women to chase him, and therefore fuck him. Therefore, making the women look like they're some sort of home wrecker or relationship wrecker. In the process, while he comes out of it with one more notch in his belt. That is skeezy as fuck, man. Like, like, dude, just say, you know, playing all of these stupid games for what? Just so you could get more sex? Yeah, I would like more sex in my life, too. I would not mind more of a variety of partners in my life. But I'm not going to make them think that, oh, they're, he's going to leave his girlfriend for me. No. No, and I don't expect them to leave their relationships, if they're in one, for me. That's just, no. That's skeezy and, and just wrong, dude. It's like, that doesn't respect what relationship that you, you know, and even if you're not, even if, even if you're just saying, oh, I, I, I have this girl I'm talking to or what have you, but we're not serious, you know. That, that, if she falls for that, that shows that she doesn't have any respect for your relationship, real or otherwise. And if you let her, and you let her come in, that tells, also tells her, if she thinks about it for two seconds, that you have no respect for whatever relationship you may or may not have. That's skeevy in both ways. And it's just, ah. Uh. Hi. Right. Mm -hmm. Three word question. With three words.
Oh, come on, dude. Seven word phrase. Oh, this was in the ad. The girlfriend phrase. Right. Or maybe she stared at you as though you would just, you know, fucking led her on and made her think that she had a chance. And, well, okay, maybe you, maybe it wasn't a thing. And then all of a sudden, like, wait, what? You're taking me out and you have what? You know, betrayal, I think, is the word I was looking for. Uh-huh. Really? 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 Or that happened. Right. Mm-hmm. Wow. It'd be, it would be amazing if it was actually happening. Wow. Wow! <laughs> wow! Wow! Okay. 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 Wow! Okay. This is not... <laughs> wow! What the fuck? Wow! Wow! That's a little too much detail. And I'm somebody, if you listen to my show, if you listen to my podcast, I share a lot of details. That's a little much, buddy. That's like, dude. Number one, we don't want to know how kinky you are. We don't even want to know how kinky this supposed page person, which I, I, I'm assuming you made up for the purposes of this video. I'm, I'm just thinking that because there is no 10 words that can be said over the course of a few hours that would make a woman suddenly want to take you back to her place and jump your bones. I'm pretty sure there isn't, unless she was already into you, dude. Just, I'm, I'm willing to bet that is just, nah, 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 nah. So, yeah, r slash that happened. Right. Right, because that would be the perfect thing to, to, to make this guy feel so much better about himself, right? Because, oh, no... She does it with him, so she might be a slut. Oh, no. Guys, ladies, NBs, everybody. It doesn't matter how much sex you have with somebody or how much you don't have with somebody. Or if you have with multiple people. You know, if somebody tries to slut shame you, I don't care what gender you are or, or where you are in life. It, fuck them. Not literally, though. Because they don't deserve it. You have all of the sex you want. And, and if somebody tries to shame you for it, kick them in the nuts. I don't know. <laughs> if they have nuts. Um, right. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. So, rule of three. I'm, I'm calling it rule of three right now. Rule of three. See, one, two, three. I'm calling it. So what is 42 divided by 3? Uh, let's see. That is... Yeah, it is divisible by 3. Um, da -da 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 I think 14. So I'm willing to bet it was just 14 or less. 14 or fewer women, I'm willing to bet. If that, you know, because I... I, I I'm becoming aware... I'm becoming... I'm coming to the point where I think this whole thing was... An entire fabrication. But we're going to keep going. 
<laughs> really? Mm hmm. Right. Mm hmm. And now you're going to make people pay for an entire book of it, aren't you? Wow. Wow. Oh, no. Wow. And you can learn all of this as well for the low, low price of $20 and your immortal soul. Right. Wow. Okay, you know... The more you know, it, it's going to be a lot of the same. I don't know how much I'm going to be cutting down, if at all. Um, if you're a patron, you're seeing everything. So holy shit, um, it's over an hour long video. You guys are troopers if you're watching all the way through. Um, so here's the thing. Again, I I state for those who have short memory, short term memory problems, I do have a girlfriend. We are non monogamous, and it is. Pretty much public knowledge that I have a girlfriend. We are non-monogamous. I am not drowning in pussy. There are two other women that, that, that again, to, re to reiterate, not sexual with, not romantic with. Some sexy is but passed between us. But, you know, I'm not drowning in pussy. I'm not having girls that... I'm not having women that have had interest in me, lost interest or whatever, come back and say, oh my god, you have a girlfriend now. I want to bone you. No. Because they respect the relationship boundaries. And if you're having, and if, assuming all of this is true, which I don't think it is, if you have all of these women willing to do this, then those women don't respect boundaries enough. And that is the thing on them. But you are also, you are also a piece of shit. Or taking advantage of that just so you can get your dick wet. It's like, dude, you know, you're 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 basically tricking them into your bed, which is bad enough as it is. Just, gah. and that's without even getting into what the actual phrases and words he's talking about are, which I'm willing to bet you're not going to be able to find out in this video. You can buy for twenty bucks. Mm hmm. Right. Mm hmm Yeah. And what are those phrases you said? Uh-huh. How long was this video? Like this. Right. Weird but ethical, sure. Yeah, you know, okay, okay, I'm I'm just gonna have to stop this right here because it is on a little long. Because I know good and well that at the end of the day, this is just it's one big advertisement. But you know, I had to pick apart some of the things that were in this because why not? And and, and it gets it makes for some content, good or bad. You guys tell me. But yeah, so here's the thing: at the end of the day. If you're going out there, you're going to go into the dating world or whatever. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Yeah, there are going to be people you want to talk to and you're afraid of talking to. I'm no exception. You know, it happens. But sometimes you just need to bite the bullet and say, hey, I like you. I like you in this way or that way. Be honest. Be open. Be your true self. That's literally all you can do. Um, yeah, hope, hopefully everything came out of my brain properly this is not going to be edited very much maybe just trim the beginning and end and be done with it um but who knows um yeah 
So yeah, that that was a that was a thing that happened. It took longer than I thought it was gonna take. Holy shit! Uh, maybe because I just got too rambly. I don't know. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you want to see me do more videos similar to this, drop a like. Let me know on the social medias. All of that stuff should be in the doobly doo. If not, I, I have a link tree. Link tr.ee slash gomer two one double x, and check all of that out. We um so yeah. And if you're a patron, you see this early. Hi. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, the Patreon link is in the link tree, so I don't have to spell it out here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I uh, will see you in the next time. Bye-bye.